Good day. My name is Matthew Petrusik, and I'm an associate professor of theology at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. And again, it's very good to be with you today. In today's gospel reading, we have another one of the healing, the miraculous healing stories of Jesus. And of course, these stories are important in and of themselves. One of the purpose of seeing that Jesus uh, commits so many miracles is to demonstrate his true identity, that he is in fact the Son of God. But there's something especially important, I think, about today's reading, and I want to highlight a specific part of it. So it starts off with a man who has leprosy, who pleads with Jesus, asks Jesus to please heal him. And Jesus responds to him, I do will it, I will it, be made clean. And the Gospel reading continues, and the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but said, Go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. So there's something curious here, you see, right? On the one hand, Jesus, after granting the man's uh, uh, desire to be cured, he says, I will do it, immediately says to him, don't go tell anybody, but then says, go to the temple and show the priests as is prescribed by the law of Moses. So on the surface, this sounds like a, a contradiction, right? Is he supposed to say anything? Is he not supposed to say anything? But I think this points to a very important theological principle that ultimately points back to, to what kind of relationship God is asking for, from us. On the one hand, of course Jesus wants his miracles to be known because again, that's how we know who he truly is as the Son of God. On the other hand though, one of the things we consistently see Jesus do after he's healed somebody is to tell them, don't tell anybody, don't say anything. And the question is, is well, why? And I think the answer has something to do with this. One of the great theological dangers that all of us have is for us to fall in love with not the true God, but what we want from God or the feeling of having God in our lives. Now, one of the greatest feelings we can possibly have, and perhaps we've all had it in one way or another, is when we truly feel God's presence, when the miraculous is within us, among us, and we know in our heart of hearts that God is real and that Jesus Christ is his only son. But the danger there, you see, is that what happens when that feeling fades? What happens to our relationship when we no longer have exactly what we want from God? And I think that's what's happening here when Jesus consistently says, don't tell anyone. Why? Because ultimately the miracles are not only important just in of themselves, they're important to draw us closer to God. Not so that we will love the, the, the effect of God in our lives, but rather love God in and of himself. So that's the question that we're called to ask. Am I loving what I want from God? which is just a form of using God, or am I truly loving God in and of himself? So let us pray. Dear Lord, you do work miracles in our lives in countless ways, and we are grateful for that. And at the same time, we ask you to please help us not fall in love just with your miraculous power, but rather with you, so we may always be drawn close to you and to you alone, and not just our feelings for you.